Hey, how we doing? Let's go downstairs and do a little, uh, little project. I'm gonna make a uh, coat hanger out of a um, bunch of old uh, doorknobs from my grandmother's house. So let's see what we got. What's up, Sam? There we go. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some old doorknobs, some old glass doorknobs out of an old house, and we're gonna make a, um, a coat hanger for my mother. You know, it's a reminder of a, her childhood home. So let's take a look at the, what we're using. We use these glass doorknobs. So these are held together by these, which are essentially just threaded rods that used to go through the door. So, we're gonna take and use 3 8 24 fine bolts, and we're gonna mount them to this board, but we gotta cut the board to fit. So, here's a kind of a little design I drew. Yeah, not super accurate, but what are you going to do? Let's take a walk out to the shed and cut some boards. Alright, let's head up to the back here. See if we can cut some boards. I'm blowing out the sky pretty good in back of us, so that's good. How are we looking over this way? Ooh. That's better. We don't have the sun in behind it blowing out the sky. <laughs> saw so let's get that set up so we've got our wood set up on the saw and we're gonna do a little uh, cutting there's our cutoff line right there well oh, that didn't work out so good so I'm like yeah you know I'll just set the camera on a fox and film me sawing yeah, no, I uh, didn't have anything level to put the camera on, so I got about six tripods upstairs, but yeah, I didn't bother to get one of those, so there you go. Prepared, Boy Scout. Well, this is a good test for the uh, M5. I'm not much of a vlogger. You generally don't see me walking around uh, with my camera talking to it like a dumbass, but here we are. I figured it would be a good way to check out this digital stabilization, see how it works. Um, how well it transitions. Ooh, let's see if I brighten up. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, I cut these boards, so I gotta get up my table saw and, um, and cut the uh, angles on the top side. I'll show you the finished product. This thing is I'm too lazy to go upstairs and get my tripod, so we'll be back. So essentially, uh, I just used my table saw to cut off the edge to give it like a finished looking edge. Uh, I did the first cut with the compound miter. Um, so you can see it here. You see the edge. Real simple. But classic looking. So uh, super easy to do. And you end up with a pretty good looking finished product. Now once that's sanded and painted, it'll look pretty pretty good. These are gonna get mounted onto there. And when this goes on a wall, you can hang coats on. So I'm gonna go on to the next step. So I'll have to drill uh, these holes right here into the board at designated lengths which I actually have marked off on the other side here so you can see there's a hole there there anyway there's five there's five marks and I did down the center so I'm gonna go ahead and drill those out all right here we go last knobs are all mounted on the board 
And in the back, we got countersunk the button heads, which I think I mentioned are 3H24 to match these uh, knobs. Also, uh, I cut this angle to match the angle of the stairs going downstairs. So you'll see when it's on the wall, it's going to sit at kind of a kind of an angle like this once I mount it. So now I just uh, I found the studs on the wall in the basement hallway. So I'm going to go drill the holes and mount this on the uh, wall. And then we're going to paint it, sand it, and paint it, and uh, you get to see the finished part. All right. We got some paint on the boards, primer. Now we're just going to get a paint coat. All right, paint coat has been applied. So, this is the wall it's going to go on. You can see the line right there. It's hard to focus on white, but anyway, that's where it's going to go on this wall right here. Looks like the paint's dry. All right, there it is, ready to mount on the wall. Next step, screw it to some studs. There it is, all set on the wall. So now you can hang a jacket, winter coat, whatever. And my mom will have the door handles from her parents' house. I say that cost about $10 to make. Um, I had all that stuff kind of hanging around the house, uh, the board, the, uh, the knobs were my mom's. Um, of course, I have all the saws and equipment and screwdrivers and things like that and paint kicking around. So uh, those knobs are quite expensive. If you try to buy them, they are antique knobs. So uh, we had no use for them. I guess we could have sold them on eBay, but you know, they're better off being on uh, mom's wall. So anyway, I'll uh, put some uh, plans up on the uh, video so you can make one yourself if you want to. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you uh, found that fun and enjoyable. Well, it took me about maybe a total of maybe 25 to 30 minutes to make it. So it's, it's, it's not a hard build. And uh, you can add a little bit of your own history in your house if you got old doorknobs kicking around or something. All right. Have a good one.